Hello and welcome. Diamond Fernandez here from the HeartFit Clinic, your leaders in heart health. And I'm very excited today to talk to you about a great supplement I came in contact with. It's called glutathione. And it's one of the most powerful antioxidants that you can, uh, that your body makes. And uh, it was featured on the Dr. Oz show and I talk about it, um, I want to talk about it of course in the, in the post uh, below. However, uh, when Dr. Oz talks about it, it was a very great supplement because it's something that many people haven't heard of and it's such an important uh, uh, antioxidant in your body and it's so important to keep those levels really high to prevent or reverse any disease processes. As we age, as we have toxins come into your life, as we have inflammation come into your life, your glutathione levels deplete. As you know, one of the supplements I do recommend taking is coenzyme Q10, another antioxidant that is naturally produced in your body. Um, when we talk about glutathione, it is naturally produced in your body. However, when you have too many toxins, like I said, and inflammation, it starts to then um, deplete our levels. And so it's important to then increase our levels of glutathione. And so why do these uh, levels deplete? Well, like I said, it is really a result of oxidative stress in our body and things that sometimes you can or can't control. And my big oxidative stressors, of course, are poor nutrition, uh, lack of sleep, smoking, pollution, uh, stress, and it can be in the form of any type of stress in your body, anxiety, depression, anger, overweight, or even lack of activity. These are some big... Um, basically oxidative stresses, and if you have these oxidative stresses in your lives, um, you're going to probably most likely have low glutathione levels, and if you do have heart disease, of course you're going to have lower, uh, most likely you're going to have lower uh, glutathione levels. Now, the good news is that you can restore and bring your levels back up and actually feel really great uh, with it. And so there's been so much uh, research and people always ask me about the research side of things. There's been almost 100,000 articles on glutathione and, and, and glutathione levels and how it's starting to poke itself out in the media and it's it's really great. For, so for decades, scientists know that if we increase glutathione in our body, we can see great results even from Parkinson's disease where people are able to minimize tremors walking out of the office. And So how do you take it? And that's a, a big question uh, I'm going to get. And, and so you can take it, to, well there's, how can you increase your glutathione levels? And there are a few ways that you can increase your glutathione levels. Um, of course, you you don't want to take, let me just back up by a second and actually talk about, you don't want to just start taking a glutathione uh, supplement. You actually want to take a supplement, because it naturally is produced by your body, you want to take a supplement that increases glutathione production. And so, um, you don't want to take glutathione, because it doesn't readily uptake um, in your body, and it just doesn't it, it it just doesn't get broken down by the digestive system, and it doesn't really reach the cells in our body. So, what can you do to increase your glutathione levels? Well, you can have consumer um, consume sulfur rich foods, and that can be like garlic, onions, vegetables. Uh, cold water showers are really good for improving glutathione levels. Um, kind of a bioactive whey protein exercise is really great for incre increasing glutathione levels. Um, uh, cysteine, lipoic acid, folate, uh, vitamin B6 and B12, psyllium, vitamin C and E, milk thistle and cold water tubs. Those are all really good stuff to increase uh, glutathione levels. However, uh, sometimes that may or may not be enough. Like I said, you, you can go to get a glutathione blood test. However, those are like about 500 bucks to get done. And, um, and, and if you're not feeling great, and if you do have heart disease, I think it's important to definitely supplement now with the glutathione. And the, and the research and the testimonials are really coming out there. It's really great. Um, what are the side effects from glutathione levels? Well, because it's a naturally occurring um, antioxidant in your body, there's no really side. Uh, there's no real side effects to taking this. Um, when you do start to take it, you might feel uh, a process of, of detoxification going on because it's starting to reduce all the toxins in your body, but other than that, there's no real side effects going on. Uh, you know, because it's ingested in a, in a, obviously in oral format, you might find some GI disturbances such as diarrhea, nausea, or even vomiting, but those should be kind of lower things. But because it's a natural occurring enzyme in your body, it's, it's no problem at all. Now, how and what drug interactions can happen with glutathione? I have not seen any. I've done my research, I've gone through lots of things, I've had great conversations with a, a cardiologist, an internist, and a, and a general practitioner about glutathione productions and, and supplementation, and there's nothing really that it, um, it 
quite coincides with, with any uh, drug interaction. So as far as I know, there's not really some big inter drug interactions uh, to be aware of. Um, and I say, you know, if you are taking a supplement or going to be taking a supplement, it's important to start off at low levels, and I can talk to you about that if you're more interested. So again, this is Diamond Fernandes here. Um, I'm going to sign out. I can talk lots and lots and lots about this, but feel free to read our blog post. Uh, go to our website, uh, of course, and uh, check out some more information about how you can improve your heart health. Diamond Fernandez here from the Heart Fit Clinic. To your heart health success.